All right, guys, welcome back to another random videos. All right, I cannot stress enough how much of a prick this guy is. This next guy is the biggest prick of all I have ever seen. Uh, he's a congressional candidate, Martin Hyde, I think that's his name. He thinks he's above the law. He thinks he's all that. You know what I mean? Just look at the way he talks to this police woman. And I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not one to back the police all the time. This is one of the cases I would back the police because this dude was being a fucking dickhead. All right, let's get into it. Sir, Officer Baskin, sir, is that a police department? You're on audio and video recording the reason for the stop. You were Just observed at that, 57 and a 40, and you were on your phone texting while you were doing that. That was at Euclid and Fruitvale. You don't need to point at the officer. I'm not pointing at you. I'm pointing in the direction where it was. I'll just call the chief, officer. Go right ahead, sir. Can you I see your license? I am, right? Yes, sir, I do. He thinks he says he's buddy-buddy with the chief with the mayor, with everybody. He's like, you know, the good old boy network times 10 gone to friggin', you know what I'm saying, to uh, oblivion or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making shit up right now. But yeah, he thinks he's a badass. He thinks everybody's going to kneel before him. Can I see your license registration insurance, please? Can you do this? Yes, sir. I'm sorry? So I have a job to do, sir. Yeah, okay. What's your name? Officer Baskin, it's going to be on the citation. Can I see your insurance registration and your license, please? Sir, can I have How your people? Seven years, sir. Can I see your registration, please? You're not going to give me your registration, sir. You arrest me? I'm asking you if you're going to produce me with your registration. You don't have it on you? Okay, sir, are you refusing to produce your registration? Okay. I'm asking you if you have your registration. You're making career decisions. Okay, Why are sir. You doing this? Sir, because you were speeding and you were texting. Where's your video? All right. Look how much of a prick he is, how cocky he looks. You know what I'm saying? People like it. I despise people like this dude. Despise. Capital D, despise. Hang tight. For that caffeine, brother. Supervisor, I just spoke to you, boss. Okay. That's not okay. You yeah. want to show paperwork? Is it your Russian immigrant status that makes you talk to people like this? I'm 10 14 6. Call the supervisor. Okay. 14 dispatch, can you have my supervisor respond, please? Yeah. And then we'll see who goes. Okay. You don't want your no. paperwork? You don't have any water. Sir, you're going to be issued a citation. Anything you have to say. I'll wait for the supervisor. You can wait for the supervisor, but I'm going to go through what I need to go through. No, I have no interest. Right, you are going to be issued a citation. the registration. Okay. Well, you've been already issued a citation for that. For what? For failing to produce your registration. Right. Alright. You Sir, you're going to you're gonna right be issued here. a citation 57 and a 40 for speeding. Your fine is 256. Here. Information in the back. Right you're going to have an option to plead guilty. An option to plead not guilty and an option to take a safe driver's course. If you qualify for the course, it will reduce your fine and it will reduce your points. If you decide to go ahead and do that, just make sure you do it prior to submission of payment. You, know you know what he said about you? You want to hear what he said about you? He could say all he wants about me. I got a job to do, sir. Yeah. You know what he said about okay. you? If you he fail to complete. You like okay. And he's going to have you again. And that's fine. It's not fine. Why do you keep saying it's fine? Sir. I'm a law abiding citizen. And you're being ah, bloody okay. rude to me. 
If you decide to go ahead and do the court, just make sure you do a prior to submission of payment as they do require a certificate of completion. If you sign up for it, you must complete it. Otherwise, they will go ahead and suspend your license. You are going to be issued a citation for texting and driving. Hi, 2022, whatever. No one cares, dickhead. Texting and driving. Your fine is 116. Information in the back. You're going to have an option to plead guilty, an option to plead not guilty. You are going to be issued a citation for failure to provide your registration upon request. Your fine is 116. Information in the back. You can plead guilty or not guilty. You're lying. Green paper. Green paper tells you you have 30 days to replay. Why are you lying? He's the one lying. Why are you lying? Your payment options are on the green form. Why are you lying? Phone number on the bottom in case you have any questions. When my supervisor comes, I'll wait for him with you if you like me to. Your citation is already. You can accept them. I will wait. I will wait, but I will wait on my car. There you go. You have the bad these are the kind of people we don't need in this world. We definitely don't need people like him. Sir, step back into your car or stand on the sidewalk so you don't get hit by a vehicle. It's for your safety. 14 right here. Can I have another unit respond? Sir, stand over there. It's for my safety and for your safety. Sir? 10 4, the driver being extremely uncooperative. Yes, Arch. Lady Cop has not done nothing but the right thing. 6142-6715, I can't. He won't let me leave until a supervisor shows up. Martin Hyde. I just gave him three tickets. Seems like everybody in this area knows this dude. He must be the town dickhead. You know what I'm saying? That everybody just wants to beat his ass. You know what I mean? Everybody wants to... When they look at him, they just all want to slap the shit out of him. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Bye. Speeding 57 and a 40, text in while driving and failure to produce his registration because he told me I could look it up. And he's going to have my job. Everything is on camera. Alrighty. Bye. Bye. Are you still waiting for a supervisor or are you leaving? Friendly, I'm just coming down. Okay. Very good. Oh, by the way, it's a friend of mine. I'm sorry? I'm aware of that okay. I'm on my way over there. You know Pat Robertson, right? Yes, I do, sir. Ain't Pat Robertson the guy from the 700 Club? I mean, no one's going to be scared of that guy, are they? If that's the guy. <laughs> Because I have a job to do, sir. Oh, Nobody's above the law. No one's above the law. You have to have some degree of respect for law abiding. That degree of respect started the moment I walked up to your car, sir. No. You knew exactly what you were doing and you made a mistake. If that is your feeling, you are more than welcome to fight the citations in court. I'll fight the citations. Okay. I'll fight your employment. Okay. You're more than... Yeah. You know, you're an influential person. You are... Very. You can go ahead and do that. Yes, I can. Okay. Why don't you just, say you're sorry? Because I did nothing wrong, sir. I was doing my job, but I am going to ask you. And she is exactly right. She did nothing wrong at all. This dude, I swear. Oh, my God. If only there was a uh, real purge. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody be at this door. This dude's door knocking on purge day. You either to sit, sit in your car or step on the sidewalk because I don't want either one of us getting hit. Okay. Sir, I have nothing more to say to you, sir. You requested my supervisor. You can have the conversation with them now. Not that I condone violence. You ain't going to get me on that, YouTube. No violence. I'm just talking, you know, like a movie. Remember The Purge? It was a good movie. <clears throat> Frangioni is on his way. Okay. It's 
speeding, 57 and a 40. Uh, texting him while driving, failure to produce his registration when I asked. He told me I could look it up. Okay. You know who he is. Yes. Right? Yeah, you finally identified him. Yes. Okay. So you're just going to stay by to cite him, or is that what you... He already got cited. Oh, he has already got yeah. citation. So he just... From the moment I woke up. So he's just waiting for... He's waiting for supervisor, and I guess he spoke to Frangioni, so Frangioni is on his way. Okay. Bobby just pulled up. Okay. Hello. This dude, does, if this dude does got influence, it's Martin Hyde. It must be some kind of like mob situation. This be like, they must all be corrupt if they're actually going to let this guy get off. You know what I'm saying? They must be a corrupt town. You know what I mean? Where everybody's just out for the money, man. Hello, Mr. Hyde. I guess Frang you start. You talked to Sergeant Frangioni by the phone. Okay, he's on his way. She just she requested another unit, so that's why another unit. Someone a certificate a ticket for no registration when they've got their registration. Didn't have it, dickhead. Ted, look it up. I'm trying to make a spurs, but it's a big mistake. Well, this one is an expired one, but well, that doesn't make it. It take two yeah. seconds. Yeah. We're going to make sure that she pays the price for being disrespectful. No, because she wouldn't bow down to you. Witness that, no, that, that, yeah, the registration was right there, and she deliberately chose to write the ticket. She came up, she said, the, the first... Look, there's a video of it, so be quiet. There's a video of what you said. There is. And I've got a video of what you said. Right? Yeah. What she said was... This dude must be a foreigner. I don't have it. This isn't Australia, buddy. You just don't order people around over here. She immediately said, I write your citation. She went right back. She never said anything. She went straight back. She, I denied the citation. She straight back and write the citation. I've lived here for 25 years. I've sergeant, represented your unit. I've got no interest in listening to you, young lady. I was talking to my sergeant. Sergeant, if you don't mind if we can step over off the road onto the sidewalk. Yeah, just a second, officer. officer. Yeah. Come on, then. Yeah, Mr. Hyde, like I said, no, no. you know. I've represented sir. you guys yes, in the union discussions. My yes. son is a cop. I'm friends with yeah. the... Yes, sir. Everybody in the police department, this is the first time mm -hmm. anybody has been disrespectful to me. And for what reason? I could care less. If they give right He's the one being disrespectful. I just pay the bloody thing. You don't mm -hmm. think I got the money? Mm -hmm. It's the manner and the nature of it. Okay. And like I said, this Sergeant dude is Major looking in the fucking mirror, this dude is. Everything he's talking her, about, he's doing. Uh, interaction. Yeah, I'd say. Outrageous. Yeah. yeah. Why would you do that? Why? I mean, of all the people to do it to. Yeah, I understand, sir. And, you know, I, I set you... Uh, Who you cares? Know, I, Who I, are you, dude? I've been, You're nobody than me. The uh, negotiations with you, and I understand where you're, you're coming from. He's lucky he wasn't talking to me like that. But I don't expect to get treated like a punk. Mm -hmm. You are a punk. Punk. Got a super ass tight pants, so damn tight. Let me go talk to her and see. She's, uh, well, it's a waste of time. The size she's a little got bit. it in her head. I know exactly who she is. Frangioni told me exactly who she is. That's fine. Seven years. Lose some weight, fat boy. He'll review it if he needs to review it. He uh, can stop because it. Sarge was already calling me to do that. He just didn't know that this is who it was. Oh, okay. So, but I couldn't leave until somebody was here. So just let me know what you need me to do. Um, uh, is Sergeant Frangiani coming on his way here? Is that yes. He is? Oh. Yes, he told me he was. I just wait for him to get here and then. <clears throat> uh, well, let me give him a call real quick because oh. that might that might help matters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no. Proceed to the route. Stay in your car. I just to to go back to the you can go to the station. Yep, go to the station. Hey, Martin. Yeah, I have to leave it on. All right, <laughs> All right so here's the thing. See, he wants to talk, you know, buddy, buddy. But the camera's on. I bet they all are the most corrupt fucking people in this whole town. The cops, the mayor. All of my, I don't know for a fact, but I bet they are. 
but this dude is acting like he's one. You know what I mean? This this is almost like a fucking movie right here going on. You know what I'm saying? One of the mob crime movies. She lied about the cell phone thing. Okay. She lied about the, I don't know about the speed. I could care less. You can give me the ticket all day long. I could care okay. less about that. And then I gave her the registration. And she, before, she says, oh, your registration? It's in the car there somewhere. She goes off. She writes me a ticket. She brings me back a citation. I said, there it is. Okay. And she still gives me it. Okay. All right. I, she's being fun. And the thing is, I appreciate that. I back you guys left, right, and center. I understand that. I do. I do. I trust me. I do and know I that. I don't expect better treatment, but I don't expect worse treatment. If that's how you treat Dude, people, you're expecting to be able to break the law. You think you're above law. This dude, this dude is a fucking liar. The biggest liar I've ever seen. Biggest. That's unacceptable. I understand. I understand your frustration. And I can get the video and I can play it. This dude is I'm, corrupt. I'm this dude's taking yeah, payments from somebody. I understand somebody. that, but you know, the thing is, I don't take kind of... She knew exactly, because I said to her, I said, yeah, right away, I said, you should like... Yeah, I know. Straight away, right in the tickets. Why? Well, she's a traffic Broke officer. Fucking yeah, dickhead. Yeah, but I understand. Yeah, I understand that's what she did. Yeah. yeah. Said, it's not what you do and you know it. Listen, she oh, has no. a job to do. I'm not. Listen, I, I'm not gonna look way. at the. I'm gonna look at the video. I, I understand your concerns. I'm gonna look at the video. I notified everybody in the chain of command right now. That's what I was doing. That's why I was not coming here. I thought you were gonna meet me at the station, but it's not a big deal. I'll. I'm gonna. She's going right now to dock her video. Right now, she's going to dock the video. And if there's problems, you will be the first to know. Well, I know there's problems. <laughs> the difference is, I'll do something about it. Okay. Zip your pants up, bro. Yeah, I'm going to take your complaint. Must be too tight. You That's can't zip them up. That's the first step. You know, how can you write a ticket for no registration when you've got the registration? I mean, as if I get a $150,000 car. I've lived here for 25 years and I don't register a car. Why do that? Yeah, I understand. Dude's bragging about having a $150,000 car. You know what I'm saying? Dude, this car looks like a, what, $30,000 car? It doesn't look like a $150,000 car. I mean, it could be. I don't know. But who gives a fuck, bro? You know what I'm saying? Lots of rich people out there break the law every day, and most of them are corrupt. He, he probably got the $150,000 car from payoffs or something. Who knows? I don't know for a fact, but you never know. Well, you tell me what the point is. It, it's just a state statute that she enforces. She's not the only traffic the law, officer that writes. Do you have a ticket for that? I, I really don't leave the office. <laughs> I understand right. what you're saying. I understand you no, have a video I, on there, uh, but the fact is, Nobody in their right mind would give a ticket for that to me. Nobody. I, I understand what you're saying, yeah. and you producing it, she probably should have taken that ticket away, but I'm going to find out what exactly occurred. Because and that's she had a beer in her bonnet because she thought she was on a big power trip. Guess what? She's been there seven years. She ain't going to make you're it. You're in the power trip, buddy. I'll make sure. Well, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get going on. She ain't. All right, listen, that's your prerogative. I want to get, I want to get this started. This is not right, Andy. Okay, I understand. Right. You don't treat people that are treated and supported you like that. I, I, I understand where you're coming from. I, I definitely 100% would not want a jerk off like this supporting me for anything. I wouldn't want to be associated with trash like that guy right there. Trash, man. This is not, not a good person. Minimum of respect is yes, sir, no, sir. Not a word of it. Straight up. Talking to me like I'm a piece of dirt. Get back in your car. Which is this? I'm she standing. She's got a car door open, and I'm leaning against here talking to someone. Okay. okay. So, in the case you get hit by traffic, just being difficult. Okay. Right? Just being cocky. Okay. I understand. I do understand. This dude probably picked on when he was a kid. I got his ass whooped every day. Yeah. It, it definitely seemed. It definitely, it definitely seemed like it was. <laughs> If that's a hundred fifty thousand dollar car. That's one say, ugly ass car. You're fifty-seven. Give us your license and your registration. Why get into immediately like that when she knew exactly who she was talking to? If that's how, no wonder you got people shooting people in Newtown. If that's how you talk to people. Mm -hmm. All right, Martin. I'll talk to you later. And writing tickets when someone's actually got the physical stuff. Stop lying, that. dude. You're the biggest liar ever on this show. My I'll show. Talk to you later. They mute the mics. Watch the shit, little sneaky bitches, right?
All right, that's the end of the video, man. You see how corrupt that dude is, that Martin Hyde, that candidate, congressional candidate, corruption at his best, dude. I think all the freaking uh, Congress people are all corrupt anyway. It's all about money. You know what I mean? It's all doing favors for each other, buddy, buddy, buddy. Yeah, they're all corrupt. They're all trash. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't vote any of them, man, to tell you the truth. I wish we didn't even have those people there like that. You know what I'm saying? Because they're all just corrupt, man. But yeah, this dude apologizes. I don't know if it's the next day or not, but he makes he does an apology. I don't know. So yeah, he know he was in the wrong. He had a big ass apology like this long, dude. I I read it, but yeah, go go look into it. You'll see. But yeah, this dude is totally one of the biggest liars, trash people I have ever seen in in my lifetime. All right, all right, guys, man, like like uh, this video, comment below, subscribe if you haven't, and peace out, man. Hey guys, if you really like these clips, give me a, a like, a share, and a follow on YouTube. All right, man? Peace.